Hi, this is Stacy, and I am with Desiree Bailey of San Marco Books and More, and we're going to talk about that dream that a lot of book lovers have, and that is owning a bookstore. I read a book called The Bookshop a few years ago. I think it was made into a film. Um, I think it was by um, Penelope Fitzgerald or uh, Penelope Lively, someone British. You know, I love anything British. Correct. And um, it's about this uh, woman who goes into this small village in England. She's doing a 2.0, starting her life over again, and she decides to buy the store. And, like, everything possible that could go wrong goes wrong. Okay. And, you know, it was just like, it was almost like a cautionary tale. Uh, so you have had years of experience in this beautiful bookstore in the heart of Jacksonville. What's it like, and do you have any advice for someone who wants to follow the stream and open up a bookstore? Absolutely. First thing I would say is do it. I don't think we can have too many bookstores. Um, second of all, it is a tremendous amount of work. As an independent bookseller, you have so many hats to wear. Um, there's marketing, there's ordering, there's returns if you have to have those. There's your customers. It's finding out what's going to sell and what's not. It's, it's taken us years to curate the inventory that we have and really getting to know our customers and what they're looking for. Um, it's all the sidelines. It's a variety of things. Um, it's also physical. Books are heavy. And when you're moving things and you're carrying things, it's... It's not that it takes a toll, but it's more physical than I think a lot of people think it is. Um, so on the other hand, it's phenomenally rewarding. In what way? I have to say almost every single person is happy to be in the bookstore. You know, I never thought it doesn't about that, happen very you know, many places. Because a lot of people go to the bookstore I mean, to escape, like, right. okay, I'm just going to go into the bookstore right. and look at books. So you're right, it's a positive endeavor. Right, because whether they find a book that they knew from their childhood and that brings back good memories, or they saw something, that uh, the same book they want to share with their grandchild, or it's the newest book that they'd heard about that their friends were talking about. So there are so many positive things that are evoked from books. So they're looking to connect. Mm -hmm. You know, I work a lot of with identity, and it's a way of connecting or reaffirming your identity. Absolutely. Way, isn't it? There's a saying that when you meet someone who has the same favorite book, you're automatically best oh, friends. Oh, they're in. Or if they if they like right. someone who you don't like, it's like, oh, I don't think so. Oh, you yeah, know. You're it, right. Yeah. So what's your favorite book? Do you have oh, a golly. Book or favorite books? Favorite books. I would say Cheaper by the Dozen. Is this the same story that was uh, made into a film with um, Steve Martin. Yes, and years. they changed it dramatically. Well, that's a whole thing that we need to talk about one. another time, what happens when a book becomes a film. I will be happy to do that. Yes. that yes. Because there are a lot of things you should not judge a book by its movie. I mean, that's... So true. Okay. Yes. Stay tuned for that. Okay, so the idea is um, you're going to wear a lot of hats when you're at mm -hmm. a bookstore. Uh, it's incredibly physical. Yes. Uh, can you tell me what drew you to the idea of San Marco Books and More? Well, my parents bought the store, and I had more of the retail background than they did. Interestingly enough, uh, my dad was in computers and mortgages, and my mom was in mental health, and I had the retail background. So I was able to come in and help them with the structure and how to merchandise and how to set things up. And I have always loved connecting with people, and I've always loved reading. I was the little girl that used to, my parents would go to bed, and I would turn off the lights, and I would go get my flashlight, and I was under my covers Absolutely. Yeah. for as long as I could be. Yeah. So my batteries you know, burned out. <laughs> <laughs> so the fact that we can talk about books and find new things and bond and connect again, mm -hmm. it is a dream come true. Wow. Well, you know, you say you come from retail. Mm -hmm. Your father came from an analytical computer uh, background. Your mother in mental health. You know what that says to me? You can have any type of background. You can walk any path. But everything eventually lines up if you decide to follow your passion. And I know your mom is a reader. I know your dad is a reader. Voracious reader. I know your grandfather, may he rest in peace, yeah. also a fabulous reader. So it was It was almost, that's right, it was destiny. <laughs> it was. <laughs> It was written in a book somewhere that oh, was yes, to be published. Oh, there you go. There you go. That. Yep. Okay, so stay tuned for that book, too. 
Uh, so I've been with Desiree Bailey of San Marco Books and More. She's given us some excellent advice in following that dream if you want to become a bookstore owner. Uh, the, the books that we talked about, etc., will be in the information below. And if you want to follow Desiree, how can people follow you? Uh, Facebook is San Marco Books and More. And Instagram and Twitter will be at San Marco Books. So please leave us your comments and how you feel about owning a bookstore. If you have owned a bookstore or if you have a dream about it, uh, we would love to hear from you. This has been Stacy. Thank you so much.